Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video tutorial will show you how you can accept or deny a pending remote access session request in your Secure Access Link Policy Server 1.5. If your cell policy server is configured with a policy of ask for approval for your managed devices, you'll explicitly need to accept or deny each individual remote access session request. You can do this from the pending request tab in your cell policy server. A few important notes, if you are not constantly logged into your policy server and monitoring your pending requests, then you should have email notification configured to alert you of these pending requests. For any remote access sessions that come from Avaya, you have approximately 10 minutes to acknowledge those requests before they time out. Also, if any user other than admin is managing your pending requests, they'll need to have a proper role assigned to them, granting them the appropriate privileges. For details on assigning roles to users or configuring your policy server with email notifications, please search keyword Secure Access Link on our Avaya Mentor YouTube channel. As you can see here, I've received an email notification where someone is requesting access to one of my gateway managed elements for which my ask for approval policy is being enforced. Let's find out what this request is about. Begin by logging into your cell policy server with the admin account or any account with privileges to manage pending requests. Once authenticated, click on the Pending Request tab to view details. In the View Pending Request table, you can select to accept or deny the request. If you accept the request, the action is returned to the device as permitted. The policy server removes the action request from the Pending Request table and logs an entry of the approval in the audit log. If you deny a request, the action is returned to the device as denied. Again, just like before, the policy server removes the action request from the pending request table and logs an entry of the denied action to the audit log. The table below shows the following information for each action request. Device is the SEID assigned to the device for which remote access is being requested. Device description contains the product family name, solution element, and the date and time that the action was initiated on the device. Request date is the date and time that the policy server received the request for approval from the cell gateway. Name, a generic name for all remote access session requests. Description, this field is currently not populated for remote access sessions. Accept deny request, a list box that lets you select whether or not to allow the requested action or deny the requested action. How to accept or deny requested actions. Perform one of the following. To accept or deny a specific request, select the appropriate value from the Accept Deny Request box for the request. To set all requests to accept or deny, click Set All to Accept or Set All to Deny as appropriate. If you want to remove all request settings and start the selection over again, click Reset All. For our example, we'll go ahead and set the value to Accept and then click Submit. All actions you accepted or denied are removed from this table and messages for each are logged to the audit log for reference. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.